Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fan company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do top K frequent elements lead code problem. And if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job, who have already asked this question. There are companies like Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Uber, Apple, Bloomberg, Snapchat, Twitter, Tesla, Netflix, ByteDance, LinkedIn, eBay, and TikTok. So that's why I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. This is a lead code medium problem and also very well like problem on lead code. Basically, we are given an integer array called nums and we are also given a separate integer called k. Now we need to return the k most frequent occurring elements from this nums array and we are also told that we can return the answer in any order. So first let's try to understand this problem with this example. I have actually drawn it much bigger over here. So this is the array nums that we are given and we are given k is equal to 2 which means we need to return top two elements that are present inside this given nums array right so if we see in this case well over here this one is actually present three times this two is actually present two times this three is actually present one time now if we see we are given that k is equal to two which means we need to return top two elements and clearly we can see that the top two elements in this case is this one and two so we can return the answer to be uh, one and two or we can also return 2 and 1 because remember we are told that we can return answer in any case and this is the answer we need to return. So let's try to see that what is going to be the approach to solve this problem. Now let me make one clarification. There are actually two different approaches to solve this problem. One approach or the first approach I'm going to show you in this video is actually sufficient for your interview. Any interview would be more, more than satisfied with that approach. But the thing is the second approach I have is actually the golden key approach for any like top K element problems, right? Like any heap problems, you can use the second approach. And uh, I'm actually planning to make a separate video on that depending on whether you want to learn it or not. So let me know in the comments that whether you want to learn the second approach. If you do, I'll make a separate video. We are actually going to use the combination of a hash map and a heap in order to achieve the top K elements. So I have created a custom example over here and I have given the value of K is equal to 3. Now remember, whenever we need to define that we need to return top K elements or top 3 elements in, in this case, how can we define that? Well, we first of all need to iterate over this given, given entire array. We need to find that how many times any single character is occurring and depending on that answer we will have to iterate over that uh, whatever the list we create where we have the number of occurrences for each character and then we can uh, conclude this answer so one thing is clear that we need some way to store the information that how many times any particular individual character occurs for that we are actually going to use the hash map in the hash map as the key we are going to denote the distinct value of this given array and as its value we are going to note the occurrence of that particular character so first let me quickly create a hash map the, uh, for this given input which contains the distinct values and their occurrences so based on this given input this is the hash map we can create now we need to select k is equal to 3 which means we need to provide top 3 elements now one approach to find the top three elements is that all the distinct values we have in this hash map if we just simply create a sorted array and in the sorted array we sort the arrays based on uh, the descending values which means the most occurring value to be first and then we put down all the remaining values we can actually generate a sorted array that looks like this and now for this particular sorted array we can simply return the top three elements so we can return the answer to be like four three and five easily and this is the solution that would give us the correct answer but thing is uh, you would quickly and uh, ask me that why did i mention priority queue over here because over here what i'm doing is i'm taking this hash map and i'm actually just sorting it and uh, we are able to generate the array well first of all in order to understand that first of all let's understand the time complexity of this approach the time complexity of this approach is first we need to iterate over the in given entire input uh, for that it takes big o of n time to generate this hash map after generating this hash map we will have to create the sorted array that takes n log n time to generate that answer and this n log n is going to be the ultimate time complexity so the thing is this you would say hey n, n log n sounds reasonable but the thing is uh, uh, from n log n suppose we have like 1 million uh, distinct characters or 1 million characters and we are given k is equal to 3 which means that we would have done like 1 million times log 1 million work. Meanwhile, the value of k in practice is supposed to be much smaller than whatever the input size is going to be. So the other approach is 
that if we create a priority queue and remember the concept of a priority queue is that inside the priority queue uh, basically we add the values and we remove the values just like any queues but thing is the values that we are entering they have some meaning behind them and depending on their valuation we actually store the value so whenever over here suppose this is the priority queue and i have provided different uh, weight to those elements if i want to create or if i want to enter an element that is an higher weight then i would get rid of only the lower weight elements and add those over here uh, i would not be repeating everything so based on that concept uh, what i'm suggesting is that rather than sorting this array we get rid of it okay so let me clean this up a bit and over here from this actual hash map that we have created we actually create a, a priority queue and this priority queue is going to be of whatever the size we are given of the k value okay so k, k in this case is 3 so we are going to only have three values in our uh, priority queue now for our priority queue first of all we are going to check that okay we only enter the values based on the number of occurrences they have and we only keep the higher number of occurrences so first we add the value number one over here because we don't have anything now we add value number two over here because we still have room and two has two occurrences then we add value number three because three has three occurrences and remember we are using the occurrence to add the value not the actual distinct value right this is the key part okay now we have this value number four four actually has four occurrences right and so far if you remember this one had one recurrence this two had two and this three had three occurrences now we have a value that is four that has actually four occurrences which means it is greater occurrences so we are able to insert that value inside our priority queue and uh in that case we are actually going to get rid of the smallest value so smallest value in this case was one now we are not going to add four over here but we are also going to maintain the uh, ascending order in terms of the values that we are being added so we'll just shift these values okay so two will come over here three will come over here and four will come over here and then we will have those subsequent values now uh, after adding this we still have value number five that we need to add so five occurs three times so five occurs three times currently we have two occurring two times three occurring three times and four occurring four times now five occurs three times so five is able to enter over here because it occurs more times than this two and we can actually put five over here uh, because it is also occurring three times and this three is also occurring three times so we are good up until this point after that all we will have to do is just convert this uh, result into an array so for that particular array we are actually going to store the results and uh, remember we can return result in any manner so we can return like 5 3 4 or we can also return like 3 4 5 or whatever result we want to return we can return and this is going to be the solution if we see time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be a bigger improvement than our sorted array approach why because okay over here this takes big of n time to generate this hash map that process remains same but now from generating this hash map to this priority queue it takes n log k times because we are only maintaining k elements this is the important part and this is what your interviewer is going to focus on so in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n log k which is good and in terms of space complexity well you must have guessed it correctly it's big o of n because we are using a couple of additional data structures we are using a hash map and we are also using a priority queue and this is a very good time and space complexity and uh, that's that is basically the ideal approach now let's move on to the coding first of all we are going to take care of an edge case that if the given k is equal to whatever the length of this nums is we can simply return nums that is not the case we are going to initialize our hash map now we are going to iterate over all the elements that are present inside this given nums so we are going to run a for loop and uh, after the for loop ends we are basically going to populate the values inside our count uh, hash map that we have just created now uh, we are going to initialize our priority queue and inside our priority queue we are going to assign the method of insertion so we are inserting based on the number of occurrences uh, based on this count hash map so let's uh, put the condition for that so now we have now everything is set up now all we have to do is just iterate over all the keys that are present inside this count hash map that we have created and for every single key basically we are going to add that value to our heap priority queue and whenever the priority queue gets full to the size of this k we are basically going to pop the element and the element that will get popped is going to be the least occurring element so we are only keep, keeping higher occurring elements inside our heap 
and now we check that if the heap size becomes uh, greater than k we remove the value from heap that's it so now all we have to do is just simply initialize a new array variable called answer and uh, we are going to populate this answer array so we will run a for loop for k times and we will keep on pulling the values from our heap then we can simply return the answer and let's try to run the code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code and our code runs pretty efficiently and i will be posting this uh, solution in the comments so you can check it out from there thank you